Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to read the data from the view in the controller. That means how to pass the data from view to the controller. How do I read the inputs of the view from the controller? Now, before that, let me do one thing. Put a breakpoint at this, and I will say F5. As we know that initially it is going to hit the index action method of controller home and I'll say F5. Now I got the form, say F12. I'll write some input and I'll say submit. Now what? Again it is hitting back to the same index method. And F5, I should get the same form. So what is happening as we know that initially the URL was empty so it is making hit to the index method or the action index if I say submit again it is hitting the server as we know that in the URL there is nothing defined or I am not at all saying go to some specific action method so it is hitting back to the same index method but what I want I want it to hit to separate action. So what is that I can do? I can write a separate action. I'll say public or the easiest way copy the same and paste it. Now I'll name it as my action submit. So I'll name it as my action submit and I'll save this and I'm going to execute it. As we know that initially it should go to the index action. Yeah, it is coming. Now if I say submit, it should go to my action submit, but again it is coming back to the index because we haven't said that whenever I say submit, it should go to my action submit. So how do I say that? I need to go back to the form. As we know that the form method is get. And here I'll write or set an attribute that is action. Is equals to home slash that is a controller home and the action is my action submit and I'll save this. Now I'll put a breakpoint even here as well as here. Say five. So we know that initially it is hitting the same index method. Now I'll say F5. It made a request. I'll write age and now I'll say submit. Now you can see that it is hitting to another action that is my action submit. And I'll say F5 and you get some error you can guess what is that it is method request method is get and it says that 500 internal server error means what it is expecting some view for this my action submit we do not have any view created for that so let us create a view for that to create a view again it is very simple right click on it say add view let the name be my action submit I'll say ok add it I got the view and here I'll write a message I have submitted the form and I'll save this now let me execute this 
it comes to the index say f5 i'll some pass some parameters and i'll say submit it goes to my action now if i say f5 it says i have submitted the form successfully or i have submitted the form you see that it is redirecting to home controller and my action submit so hope you might have understood how to redirect or how to make a request to a particular action in a controller so whether it is of type get or post the process remains same i will re execute this i will just remove these breakpoints and i will say f5 we go for the network I reload it so with the help of get it got the form and i'll pass some parameters and i'll say submit so with the help of post it got this separate form this form i got it with the help of post method if i click this you see that it was a post method and it took two parameters to this action method that is n name and n age so this is very simple if we want to call a particular action based upon this submit you can simply write it or you can simply set the action attribute of form tag you can write the controller name and that particular action name it could be of same controller or it may refer to some other controller as well now if i right click on this add new controller and i'll name it as test controller and i'll right click and i'll say add view for this add and i got a view so i'll say this is test view now what i want from home controller or from this index whenever i say submit it should go back to test controller and the action method index that means it should go to the controller test and it should go to the action index means what from one controller i am trying to load the form and once i say submit i am trying to post the data to some other controller i'll execute this f12 i'll reload it now you see that it is getting the data so by default it is home controller and the action is index now i'll pass some parameters i'll say submit now see that it has taken me to the test controller and the action index you can observe here and the method is of type post and the body should contain the data hope you might have understood how to pass the request to a particular action of a particular controller now in our next video we will try to see how to read these values from the view and store it into a database that means we will see how to read the data from the form in our next video thank you very much